What started out as a regular work day for sick businessman Reputamin Singh Malik has ended with an investigation into his murder and a community in shock. It is upsetting and scary. Uh, someone we know has passed away to a violence. Malik's red Tesla blasted with gunshots outside his office. There was a broken window. He was lying in the car. There was three gunshots. Only one, uh, one hit on the neck, that's it. And I just took him out. He was alive. I waited for like 10, 15 minutes. Then the cops came. Questions over who would kill him and why now reverberating worldwide. Malik and another man were charged in the 1985 Air India bombings. 331 people were killed, most of them passengers from Vancouver and Toronto. Malik was acquitted in 2005. Former BC Premier Ujjal Dasanj was one of many who was deeply disappointed. The judge, um, you know, actually said to him that this is not, uh, this doesn't mean that you didn't do it. It's just that the police haven't been able to prove it. Families of the victims have spent decades calling for justice. Just three weeks ago, they held a memorial to mark the day their loved ones were murdered. Malik himself had many supporters in Surrey, having founded a Sikh religious school and a credit union here. I feel so sad. It's hurt me. It hurt us. He's our com community. Malik was also still involved politically. A recent letter of his praising controversial Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi angered many. As to the shooting, homicide investigators suspect it was targeted. Police say a burned out vehicle was found a few blocks away. This has the earmarkings of a paid hit. And uh, certainly a lot of those paid hits that we've had go unsolved. So I'm not holding uh, the cards that this is going to be solved relatively quick. Okay, now Mira, you mentioned the families of the Air India victims recently held a memorial. Have we heard anything from them today? Andrew, we've reached out to many victims' family members who still live in the area, but found it very difficult to connect with them. We did speak with Vijay Verma, who lives in Australia, and he lost his brother in the Air India bombings. He says that what happened in 1985 was bad, but also what happened today was bad. And given what's known about this attack, it is expected to be a tough case for investigators. That's right. Uh, police point to the tactics that were used in this case, as well as other shootings in the Metro Vancouver area. Often the vehicle that's used in these shootings is burned and the evidence destroyed. And the killers actually managed to get into a second vehicle and drive away from the scene. And some experts say that's what might have happened in this case. Okay. Mira Baines in Surrey, BC. Thank you.